Meanwhile, the Otay Mesa East Port of Entry is now ready to break ground after the completion of the bridge that connects the 125 to the 905. Our Clara Benita is, is live in Otay Mesa with the new developments in this project. Clara. Well, East County residents and border residents will be able to use this bridge starting at the end of next week. Now, before this connect and this bridge, they would actually have to exit out to Otay Mesa Road, take a few street lights in order to get to the 905. Well, now with this new bridge connector, they won't have to do that. No more stop and go. Drivers commuting to and from East County and the border region. So for the last couple decades, we've been developing the border infrastructure, uh, the State Route 905, 125, and 11. And with the completion of this connector from South 125 to West 905, we're essentially done with the roadway network and ready to start work on the future Ota Mesa East Port of Entry. The bridge will streamline what drivers used to have to work around. It's going to take traffic off local roads where before people had to exit and use Ota Mesa Road for about a mile and a half through several major intersections, intersections and five traffic lights. Now we'll provide that direct connection from East San Diego and East Chula Vista to our binational border region. The project, a collaboration between Caltrans and Sandag. It reduces the gas emissions, it facilitates the movement of traffic, reduces congestion, it saves time to people. Funded by the 2017 gas tax, Senate Bill 1. The bridge is the final step towards breaking ground on the new highly anticipated Otay Mesa East Port of Entry. So later this year, Year, we expect to launch our border wait time system to provide travelers uh, from both sides of the border with accurate information and manage our system as our manage our border as one system. We are all working our local, state, federal partners on both sides of the border with an end goal to open the future port of entry by 2024. Finally connecting the entire region. That will really facilitate the movement of people, of commerce, cut down those wait times and provide a reliable 20 minute wait time at the border. Again, residents will be able to go ahead and use this bridge starting the end of next week, and they're going to start breaking ground on that new port of entry next month, and it's expected to be finished by 2024. Reporting live here from Otay Mesa, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News. All right, a massive undertaking there and staying in that area. Thank you, Clara Benitez.